everybody, welcome to our life in the Philippines. Um, we are coming up to the last days of uh, Leif's visit here, and uh, uh, Leif wanted to take a ride through Angeles. And we're just gonna go and uh, round up a little bit of footage, driving through a couple of neighborhoods on our way back home to our place. Um, we finally got that hard drive uh, taken care of, and uh, uh, we are going home and trying to put these things together so we can uh, uh, get Leif all the footage. He has been here for about a month now, and we have uh, spent quite a bit of time uh, uh, while he has been uh, doing his activities. Um, Leif, as we have said before, he's a musician, uh, but he's also a stand-up comedian, uh, and he also loves the uh, game of boxing. And, uh, he has gone through a lot of training with a personal trainer here over, over um, this period of time, uh, the last four weeks, and um, we can definitely see some improvements. At least it is not missing anymore. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we're taking a ride and uh, we're just going uh, by uh, Walking Street and uh, Friendship uh, in route back home. Uh, but anyway, when we uh, 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 we are going to put up some more material uh, from his boxing here, uh, we're actually me and him are gonna create a channel where he's gonna do a little bit of everything, but mainly uh, do boxing and uh, training and comedy um, and, and some music. So we're, we're debating how we're gonna set that channel up. Anyway, to the left here, you have the uh, Station 4, I believe it is, um, the uh, Angeles Police. Um, and we are heading down this way to the roundabout and to the left here you have you have the park anyway so uh, all the material we have uh, done here uh, we are going to show you some of this how he um, uh, how he trains uh, his personal trainer is a former elite um, boxer um, from the Philippine national team actually and is driving his old guy um, pretty hard. You know, it's hard when you're 64 years old. You ain't feeling like you're 30 anymore. So, but he has been doing great, uh, and I've been following it. And we're gonna try to um, make some good sense out of it. So, follow along for the ride here for a little bit, and we're gonna um, just take you about home. Uh, we're coming up here on uh, Dao in, uh, in a minute or two, uh, and then we're going to go drive through the Dao home, home site and cross over into the uh, Dao Bar Barangay Dao. Um, so just hang on. Enjoy the ride. Today the traffic was actually not bad. Um, here in Angeles, um, I was in the United States the first four months, or for four months, uh, I think from April through August or um, uh, something like that. And when I came back, I couldn't notice the traffic has gone haywire. Anyway, here's Burger King to the right, and we're coming up on the O, and we're gonna make a little right turn up here and go through the home site uh, in a minute. Yeah, the traffic has gone uh, haywire. It's, it's been crazy uh, almost any time of the day. Uh, today we were actually lucky that we, we don't have that much traffic. Here we're coming down to um, the home site uh, for you that live here or if you are a foreigner don't know what to go and pay your electric bill. You see the yellow building down here to the right? 
Uh, that's Pelco 2, and that's where we are going to pay our bills. Uh, uh, if you are on time, uh, you can pay it at a 7 Eleven or a couple of other places, but um, if you are one day past due, uh, you have to go there because they will no longer accept payments in any other pay station. All right, coming into uh, the home site, um, and we're just going to take a little ride through here. Um, interesting area. There's a couple of other bloggers that lives in here, and they have on their uh, uh, blogs they have gone through this material, uh, this neighborhood quite a bit, and and, uh, and um, if you search around, you will find more detailed information about this neighborhood from a couple of other bloggers. We actually lived down here uh, in the beginning of our marriage and uh, before we got married uh, my wife had an apartment down here in this, uh, in this neighborhood. Uh, but when we got married, we decided to move up to the Barangay, uh, get a little bigger apartment. Um, and uh, right now we have a pretty decent two-bedroom, um, where the rooms are really nice. Uh, the bedrooms are huge and big. And, um, the rent is still reasonable, very reasonable, compared to the United States or, or any other Western country. About, I think about $195. This is actually a pretty nice neighborhood. It's clean, it's not uh, 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 too much garbage. I think they're, they've been cleaning up this neighborhood a little bit. The streets are clean. And, I said that, you know, that I a bunch of garbage in the left. Um, making a right turn here, coming down, and coming down to a medical center. Um, and they, uh, if you have good health, uh, they have some good health in this center. I can expect to be right there, we're going to the left. This road takes you up to the Dawu Access Road, um, where all the main buses and everything is coming into Angeles City. So we're we're going up that way, and uh, we're a couple of minutes away from home, if that. One thing on these roads um, is you got to be real careful. Um, people here do not act like we do in the Western world when it comes to traffic. All right, so we're coming up here. We have uh, we have the church up here to to the right. We just passed it, and now we're going into Barangay Dao, and we are home here in a few seconds. Um, this is actually a pretty nice neighborhood too. Um, never had any problems in here. Family is doing okay. Um, I haven't had a whole lot of crime reported. Um, I think in the past couple of three years, we've heard about a couple of homes that got broken into when, when the tenants were gone. Uh, other than that, nothing has been uh, reported. All right, we're back home and Leif and I are going to go up and uh, take care of our things that we need to do. It has been great to have Leif here and um, uh, I'm sure we hear more from him in the future. Thank you for watching and God bless. Bye-bye.